Love is greater than law. Hi, welcome back to another one of our director's commentaries here at Regal Heights Church, based upon last Sunday's message where we talked about the freedom that Christ gives us. Now we talked about comparing that to the letter of the law of just blind obedience, which we should anyway, but the heart behind is really what I want to hit on here today. Let me liken it to this. You know, God wants us to love Him and, and follow the Spirit, and that the Spirit will instinctively help us to do the right things. And that's not to necessarily replace the law, because the law re- reveals to us what is good and what is wrong. Here's an apt analogy for this. Imagine when you get married, and I've done lots of weddings, where we go through the vows. Could you imagine thereafter that someone had to have the vows written on their hand every day to make sure that they actually abided by them? Could you imagine that if someone just like, like oh, this person, oh, I got to be faithful to them again today, um, you know, because I've got to obey the law. Wouldn't you rather be that that person is just so in love with you that, that lo- those vows really don't even matter because they're written on their hearts? This is exactly what God asks of us when he says, I have the Ten Commandments written on stone to reflect human hardness of heart, and he wants to longs, longs for it to be written on our heart. That's what he means. He wants us to just simply love him and the overflow of that be an obedience that happens, that is not contrived, that is not forced, and is not something that you've got to muster yourself up to do. And you need the power of the Holy Spirit to do that. So I encourage you to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, receive the Holy Spirit, and pray that God would direct you in your day-to-day life. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you and have a great day.